everybody, I'm Matt, and you are in the zone. I guess you can see there's been a ton of cool stuff that's happened in music history during this week. And uh, we're going to go back to 1996. I'm going to teach you a song off the album by Oasis called What's a Story? Morning Glory. And the song we're going to do is Wonderwall. It's a uh, really easy, really cool song. Probably one of the most requested songs that I get over the years. And uh, let's get to it. Okay, here we go. Oasis Wonderwall. Um, when they do it, they actually do it, I believe it's capo 2. Um, it's got three parts, it's got a verse, it's got a bridge, and it's got a chorus. Um, I'm not going to do it on capo. I kind of like it on E minor. It's the same thing whether you do it on E minor or not. I'm just going to do it here because it's easier for you to see in the camera. And um, Let's start it off. The verse is with an E minor 7. We're in the key of G. So we've got an E minor 7. We've got a G. We've got a D suspended. And then we've got this really cool chord. It's A7 suspended fourth. We got our first finger on the fourth string, second fret, and our third finger. Same place it would be for the D, third fret, second string. Gives a nice, really open ring. Okay, so the so the verses are as simple as that. E minor seven, G, D. Simple as that. Those are all the verses. Um, the bridge, nice simple thing. We have C, or C add nine, which if you want to. Alternate, that's fine. D and E minor, or E minor 7, whichever you'd like. Here we go. Really cool part. All we have is G, D with the F sharp bass, E minor 7, D, A7 suspended fourth again bring that up to speed we got D or C sorry D D minor for the chorus. All it is is C, D minor 7, G, E minor, back and forth. Simple as that. Um, cool thing about this song is that you can modify it. You can make it bluesy. You can make it almost anything you want. You know, add add a few little pentatonic riffs, E minor pentatonic riffs, and you get, you know, like a bluesy. <laughs> Spice it up a little bit like that. In that bridge, one thing that I love to do is instead of playing just the C and the D and the E minor 7, take your regular C, right? And you slide it up two frets, okay? You get a nice open sounding D chord. It does have a nice big long name, but if you just think about it as a C, slide it up. We've got a nice D chord that rings out. You get you get Spices it up just a little bit, especially for you guys that are out there just trying to, you know, play it by yourself. Gives it a little bit more open sound, gives you a little bit more to sing over. Sorry that you have to be subject to my voice, but that's okay. At least I'm getting you the idea of what's happening. Um, if you have any questions, down in the link, I will have, uh, I'll have a link, so or down in the description, I'll have a link, so you can go get my uh, cheat sheet for it, and, um, if you have any questions, problems, comments, anything, just let me know. And uh, let me know if there's any other songs you want to learn. All right. See you later.